Rebel forces in the eastern port of Sidra had loaded an estimated 234,000 barrels of crude onto the North Korean flagged tanker Morning Glory, worth around $24 million. The vessel left the oil terminal Monday and managed to evade a naval blockade. It was a humiliation for Prime Minister Ali Zedan, who had vowed to bomb the tanker if it left Libya. Parliament voted to oust him Tuesday. Mr Zaydan did not retain the loyalty of many members of the government or armed forces, says Jason Pack, a researcher of Libyan history at Cambridge University. Former Prime Minister Zaydan is actually not the commander-in-chief of the Libyan armed forces. That role would have been fulfilled by the General National Congress president, Nouri Abu Sahmein, who as an Islamist is an opponent of Ali Zaydan. Mr Zaydan's interim successor, former Defence Minister Abdallah Althini, was sworn in Wednesday. On the streets of Tripoli, the Prime Minister's resignation was largely welcomed. He did nothing for the country. He's been in power for a year and three months and achieved nothing. Libya's central government is failing to function, says Tripoli-based political analyst Salah al Bakush. A government uh, institutions performing really bad and you'll see you know thousands of employees and it's 80 percent overstaffed mm -hmm. the tripoli government has given rebels in the east a two-week ultimatum to stop blockading the oil terminals or face a military assault but the rebels have faced down such government threats many times before says cambridge analyst jason pack the situation is awful because Sub-state actors have shown that they can undermine the resolve of the central government and sell pirated oil in the international scene, which sets a stage for conflict between stronger sub-state actors and the weaker Libyan state. The eastern rebels, led by Ibrahim Jathran, want greater autonomy for their region, known as Cyrenica, but they face rivalry from other rebel groups and Islamist factions. Again, Jason Pack. Right now we're seeing battles in CERT between Jathran's Federalist forces and Misraten and Islamist militias. So Jathran is likely to lose um, in any direct military confrontation. He doesn't have the forces he promises himself to have. However, there is a danger for a kind of regional war that would polarize more the east and the west in Libya. Nearly three years after the ouster of former dictator Muammar Gaddafi, there are growing fears that the political vacuum could breed further conflict. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.